I'm going to throw a couple of teapots. I'm going to throw a small teapot that's kind of this shape. It would be about one cup size. With my thumbs down in. Put the bottom in. Then just grab a hold of the wall and pinch right on up. I always stop to true up the top like that. It makes it uh, makes your job a lot easier, and you don't have to cut the clay off if you do that. Then mop the water out at this point. Collar it in. Slow the wheel down so that it, the wheel speed can just compound, can just compound problems. Belly it out a little bit. I want to keep, keep the pot small at the top so I can get the lid in there, close it down. And this rim seat, I'm just going to take this finger and supporting it from underneath, just push down, making a little depression in the edge. And if I want something that's a little more pointed, I could take the end of a small stick, or I could take this, and I can just push that down in there and make a place for the lid to sit down in there. Now I'm going to make teapot spouts. A very small teapot spout. I've centered, I've op got clay that's been open all the way to the bottom. This is just a big, hollow, very thick walled cylinder. And I can now, first of all, I'm going to throw a very small spout. I'll throw it. Just a little tiny spout. Pin it down. Sometimes you can take your, this is a, just a needle tool. Sometimes you can take and you can, I can throw on a stick. You can just throw on a stick like that. And that makes it easier to do sometimes. Okay, and then now I'm going to cut it with my needle tool. And just lift it off. It's a very simple little, a very simple little lid. And to do this, I center a small piece of clay, and then I, I drop my thumb right down. I don't drop it down in the middle. I, I want to leave clay there, so I just drop my th thumb right down, leaving a little column of clay in the center, and then. I, using my, my fingertips, I squeeze the clay. In this case, I want the lid to have a, a, be a little bit boat shaped, a little bit, a, a little bit shaped like that, a little bit round like that. So I just squeeze it like that, keeping it up. Now, in the center, I've got this little mound of clay, and I can squeeze it up between my fingertips and put a little knob on it so that I can. And this, li this is a lid that can be done totally off the wheel and need no trimming. And I'm going to show a few more of this, of this particular style of lid. But you can squeeze, you can, the little stem that the bulb sits on, you can squeeze that down and make that fairly delicate if you want. Or you can make it and leave it sort of stocky or stubby. Whatever your preference is, you can do it any way you want. Now, once again, I'm going to cut this off. And this lid, if done, if you do it right, is it doesn't require any trimming at all. I get the outside edge here just right. Once again, now that lid is thin enough and it would not require any, any trimming at all. The next lid that I'm going to show you is, is this style, except I'm going to make it a little bit more severe than this. This is a teapot lid. But I'm going to make a, a style of lid that, it, that, the, that, that has a real low center of gravity so that when you tip a teapot over, the lid will tend to stay in by virtue of how it was designed or made. Now, I am going to open, I'm going to open down, not in the center. I'm going to leave a column of clay in the center, and I'm going to use that column later on to, to make the knob. And so I just, and I'm going to make this, and I'll make the knob first. 
and it's gonna, I'm going to make this quite extreme to demonstrate how you could make a lid with a, that really wouldn't have a tendency to fall out. So I'm just pulling up a little, I'm pulling up a little cylinder here outside this, uh, outside this knob that I've made, and I'm just going to pull that right on up, keep pulling it up. So I make a little cylinder there on the outside of that knob that I've thrown, and just keep pulling up and thinning down. And, and, and keep it nice and straight. You wouldn't want it to be, you wouldn't want it to be bigger at the bottom than it was at the top because it wouldn't fit through the opening into the pot. Then maybe, okay. I can take my rib and flatten that out on top, and then I can make a little detail there. And I'll tip this towards you after I take it off of here and make that like that. Now I come down. I want to make sure that I don't that I cut low enough, but not too low because once again this lid is being thrown right side up and it's done once it's off the wheel. It is, it will be finished. So I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to stop the wheel to take this one off because it's so delicate on the bottom and because I want to hold it up and let you see it. A little earlier, I threw this little round teapot body and I threw the lid off the hump. Show me, you saw me throwing this little lid. And it fits beautifully. If it didn't fit well, I could take, I could trim this where it fits in the pot. I could trim that and make it a little bit larger. Or I could, if it's the clay, if I do it soft enough, I could push on it and make it a constrict on the top here, push on the top, and make it a little bit smaller so that the lid would fit. It's a good idea to have the lid fitting as well as you possibly can. Well, I'll set the lid aside, and I will now trim this little teapot body. Using my sharpened wooden stick, cut the, cut the excess clay off at the bottom. Now, using my trimming tool, Trim up on the bottom, getting just exactly the contour on that that I want to have, smoothing it up with my rubber rib. Now I'm going to cut this loose from the pot, have it going from the bat. I'm going to cut this little body, teapot body loose. Then take my thumb, smooth over the bottom. Now take my little spout and I can see how I want to have it. I can See, I know that I want to have it up high like that, so, and that, so I have to cut some off the top there to make it fit and look right on the pot. So I'll cut a little off the top. You almost always have to do that with these teapot spouts. Cut a little bit off the top. Remember, once again, you want to have that little spout high enough so that you can fill that pot all the way up. If you put it down here like this, then you can only fill that pot up about halfway. So, now, marking, just grab something, a fettling knife or your needle tool, and mark the, the outside boundaries of that teapot spout so that you know where it's going to fit on there. And then you can use, as I indicated earlier, you can use one of these hole cutters that you just spin right in. You can use an, an electric drill bit. Uh, very, they come in various sizes. And you can just take an old electric build, drill bit. It doesn't have to be a good one or sharp anymore. It doesn't have to be sharp anymore. And just drill right in, just drill holes. You, if you don't have one of these tools, you can take your fettling knife. I've used this for years, and just take and just push your fettling knife in and make a lot of holes. And this is to strain the tea leaves out. This way, we can have a teapot that has, that we just put loose tea leaves in, and the holes in the teapot will then strain it out. And then after you've got all the holes cut in with your fettling knife, trim across the outside, go back and get the crumblies out of the hole so they so that they will be open and will allow the tea to flow through. Then, take your little spout. It's a little teapot, so it's got a little spout. And put a little slip. I, I, I do it this way. I put a little slip around the bottom of that spout. Just coat it with slip. And then, I dip the whole spout in, in, in water, just up just a little tiny bit, and then Put it right on the, over those holes where your lines are. There, it looks good. Now I can go back and just very 
gently, work that in, smooth that in, make it look good. That's, this is, uh, it's going to stick. With, with using this system, it will stick to the pot. But I can just smooth that in now and make a nice line. Okay, we want to cut that off now, just for, for, um, because I think it looks nice. And I'm going to cut this off so that it's, it's the bottom, the absolute bottom of the spout where I cut it off is at 5 o'clock. If you can imagine a clock, it'll be ex at 5 o'clock. And so that when it winds around, it will be throwing, puts a stress on the clay. And as it winds around and un kind of unwinds in the firing, the, what I put on there when I threw it, the, if I made a mark here and have it exactly at 5 o'clock at this point, when it's all fired, it'll run, and that, that mark would be it straight up and down. Okay, that looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going, to, I, I'm going to cut this teapot spout down a little bit and make it just a little bit shorter. I think it'll look better on this. Okay. Then reach over and grab a little clay here, and I can make some little lugs. I call them lugs. Little round, little round things that I then <clears throat> put right over. I got a little dowel here. Take this little clay lug and I put it over the top of that and bend it down. I'll make two of these. Like that. Put it over the top of this dowel like that. Then I can I'll dip these in water and I'll put them right, one right on top of the where the teapot spout is, and one right across on the other side of the pot like this, smooth those down, smooth them over, get those. And this is for a bamboo handle. And you can go to your local pottery supply and you can get a, a bamboo handle like that and you, they're relatively inexpensive.